Greetings. So recently I've been playing around with software instruments and um, I've had a couple students ask me a question about something I want to talk about right now, which is how do I make software instruments sound like real instruments when I'm using something like a MIDI keyboard to play those instruments? Um, so the first tip I usually think of, and I'm gonna use a guitar today for an example, because guitars are really easy not to make sound like guitars. Um, for instance, if I was using this guitar here and I was playing it on a keyboard, most keyboard players would play it like something like this, like a... So, you know, that sounds like a keyboardist playing a guitar sound. Um, so usually the first thing I recommend is if you're using a sound and you want it to sound like another instrument, thinking of a guitar, first think about how it's played. How do people play guitar? They like, you know, strum it. It has six strings. The strings are tuned to different notes. So I always show someone who's trying to use a guitar, like if they're gonna play it, I show piano students this a lot, actually, to the difference between guitar and piano, but if you strum all the open strings on the guitar, you come up with this. Um, so right away, that just sounds like someone strumming an open string guitar. If you notice, I'm going from the bottom note to the top, because most guitars strum from the bottom to the top. So that's one consideration. The other consideration is, you know, the technique used to play a guitar. If you can, um, I always recommend trying to get your hands on the instrument you're trying to replicate. If it's like a string instrument or woodwind or brass, maybe you have a friend or somebody who can play it for you, or just go to YouTube and like watch a bunch of people play it, see, you know, see how it goes. Because all those instruments have a different technique that um, a MIDI keyboard doesn't always quite replicate. And some software manufacturers have done a great job of um, fixing that problem a little bit. For instance, this guitar I'm using right now is from Spitfire Audio. It's the electric guitars. It's from their Labs um, series, which is free. It's not sponsored. I've just been going through these a bunch because they're really fun to go through. But this rock guitar I'm using has a rhythms section, and I realized this kind of fixes the thing I was trying to talk about today. But um, yeah, all this is, is if you press one key, it'll play a rhythm for you on a chord. Um, so that already makes it sound like a guitar. For instance, let's try that same chord progression I just played, but using the rhythms. Making music is easy. Um, yeah, so what's kind of cool about that is I realize the ones down here, keys down here are major chords. And then if you go up here an octave higher, there are minor chords. It's kind of cool. Um, but if you don't have that and say you wanted to try playing more of a guitar sound, you know, using the keyboard, I'll go back to the plucks. So now these are individual notes. Um, you know, if you're trying to strum chords, um, I almost do something like this. So let's say you're playing that E major chord on guitar. So this is how it sounds on a guitar. If a guitarist were to play an open string E chord, that's the notes they're playing. Again, I'm going from the bottom because I usually strum from the bottom. Now, if you wanted a little more strummy, you could try to break up. I usually try to hit a bass note and then kind of break it up up top. So I probably won't be able to replicate that rhythm that just was happening, but.
I'm also using the pedal a little bit to create kind of an open string sustain uh, on my keyboard. You could also, you know, if you want to do like a finger picking, like an open, you know, a finger picking sound, you could break up the chords. But again, try to think about a guitar, like they might not play all of the notes at the same time. It might be sort of like. You notice I did a little like quick thing up here. Usually guitarist, you know, I think most of the times if they play a little melody, they're gonna play it on the top end of the strings. They're, they're probably not gonna do it down low. Um, I mean, th this is pretty general. I'm being very general about the whole thing, but yeah, so stuff like that is, you know, stuff to think about when using these instruments. But yeah, you know, so a lot of guitarists too don't play full chords when they're playing. They might only play a fifth, um, like an interval of a fifth or something like that. So, you know, think about that too in the style that you're trying to do. So let's see if we were trying to do like um, power chords. You know, a guitar player might not play all of that. They might just play. You know, something like that. I tend to do that a lot as a keyboard player in cover bands when the guitarist needs to take a solo and there's no other guitar player, so I'll just crank up the distortion <laughs> and like try to replicate a rhythm guitarist playing in the background. Anyway, just a thought I was having, hanging out here, playing with some software instruments. Um, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.